and I gotta film this because I don't think I've ever filmed a ride through here before actually ever. And this is this is a the only one of the few parts of the city I find that looks like it's in a small town because it's really more forest than anything. You know. It used to be a very old garage right yes. here. Yeah, oh, it's still kind of there. Eh? That's kind of cool. Look at that. The structure's still there. That's neat. They're disappearing, these things. Yeah. I think my friend Silver was talking about, I think he lives right here. No, not here. I know Saputo's house is coming up here. You know that? When's the last time you came around here, Andrew? I think they're throwing a party at Saputo's house because they have a detour. Oh, what the hell is this? I just started filming for crying out loud. I don't know. You want to go straight turn? I don't know. This guy's going straight, but he's uh, he's uh, rocking the boat. He's rocking the boat. Turning, turning. It's turning, turning. Okay, it's turning. Look at the, you know, the rich people's homes here, and they open the windows a little bit. You'd be surprised what's in these people's garages. Of course, of course. You know, I used to have a friend. He used to, he had a '79 Trans Am, just like Smokey and oh, the Bandit. Oh, check this guy out. <laughs> and uh, he said to me, he says, Elton, he says, did you ever stop and think what the what all the old cars people must have in their garages? I'm like, wow, you're right. That is true. Why is this coming out so bright? What the hell's with my camera? White house here? What is this? Something's not right here. This is not right. Something happened here. I don't know what. Did you drop the camera? No, it's it, on this end. It looks fine. Here it's. it's like, I don't know why it's too bright. Why is it so bright? Look. It's like uh, white out, whitewash or something. Yeah, guys, I had to switch to the the camera because I don't know why my phone was just doing like uh, Andrew said that white balance. Check this out. This is uh, probably still uh, Saputo's house. I think Tony. It's uh, I'd never seen this before. Actually, I've always passed on Guillaume Boulevard. We're obviously on the backside only because of a detour technicality. Look at that! Holy Jesus! Release the hounds! <laughs> Man, look at that gate! Oh my oh god! My god. That the that's the lighting? that's probably I was gonna say it's the maid probably. No, we look like we're with the feds with this white. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go before they uh yeah, before they send the dogs out on Yeah, this. really. You know, look at this place. Holy Jesus. I can be like, yeah, yeah, I do videos uh driving around the city and uh they're gonna be like uh hit the bricks, get lost. <laughs> you know, before I call my lawyer. Holy Jesus. Man oh man, he got that whole house just selling cheese. That rawr, 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 that's the air conditioning you said, the air conditioning yeah. belt. Yeah, it's the uh, pulley because the uh, bearings are all buggered up. Oh, screw it, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna follow, follow that car. I will. Ah! Oh, there's a porta buddy. Actually, I noticed that camera was doing that before too when I filmed from my parents' car when we were very brief, briefly in Sherbrooke. It was doing the same thing. I actually wonder if it had something to do with the glass. The tint, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I do notice sometimes when I'm filming from windows that, uh, you know, the color is different and stuff, you know. Maybe it's the contrast from inside here being so dark. Yes, that could be right. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think that does have something to do with it. Plus, the sky is not exactly blue, eh? Yeah. And I think I, I worked at the school once doing cleaning for like three hours. I don't think I ever ran around so much in my life and, and I, I couldn't cut it. They said I still wasn't fast enough. God, I can't believe all the construction out here. West Island is construction. Here is everywhere is construction. Man. Hang on tight. Montreal, the city of festivals, including the construction festival. Construction festival well underway with my new, my new, uh, well, not new friend, but uh, new uh, compadre, partner in crime, so to speak. That's you know? The Saputo house, man, that, that really blew my mind. I'd never seen that from the other side. It was always Wayne. Look at this, now we're on the detour again. Just not, look at this, holy mackerel. You would think they're shooting a movie here. On the left, we have rich people. On the right, we have poor people. Yeah, really. <laughs> Speed bump, God damn it. Oh, there we go. Oh, terracotta Roos. No, this is for a movie production, I think. I don't think uh, this no, is for... Uh, Dickie Moore. They yeah. They use Dickie Moore for uh, movie Movies, no? no? Yeah, this is for all the bosses, eh? For all the construction, yeah, the bosses. 
It was something in the air that night. That would be my party. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I just kidding. I thought you had a piss jug in here. <laughs> I actually knew you were right below you. It's under the seat. Right I there. shouldn't even have said it anything. God yeah, damn it. Brought it up. I knew you were a truck driver. <laughs> Shit. You need to well, get yourself a, bigger wheels. No, bigger I'm kidding. Bigger porta potty after what we just ate. Oof. I'm going to have to ring a fire tomorrow morning. Morning glory. I, listen, the guy I used to work for, uh, George, I, he lives right around here. Actually, the yes. owner of La Belle Province? No, uh, Unidisc. I said that because, you know, Greeks, they own the La Belle Province. Oh, yeah, all of them. All of them. Oh, wow. Well, what the hell is going on here? That's uh... Oh, I know what that is. I think that must have been that house that was set on fire. I think he was like the guy who was the president of Pornhub. Did you ever hear about that? And all these women that were exposed and all that, without their permission, they set his freaking house on fire. I think that's it. That has uh, to be it. See, I hate missing on barbecue. <laughs> no, but you know what's beautiful about that? It's called karma, motherfucker. It hurts, don't it? All right? What did I say to you in the restaurant before? Do good unto others as they would do unto you. Well, there you go. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind living here if I had all the bread in the world, I'll be honest with you. Uh, all as long bread as, and the butter. As long as nobody bothers me, of course. Which people all too often bother me. Luckily, most of my fans I meet are cool. They don't really bother me much. You know? No, I don't mind going on this dude tour. This was actually quite uh, enlightening. I, uh, it's nice to see sometimes how the other half uh, lives. Hey, we can see in your garage there. Oh, you got a lot of bucks in there. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. I think it was that, that, that house back there. Right there. Look, what house? Which one? Yeah, is this the two, uh, two, not Tupelo? Tupelo? That's the Holy shit! I'm the <laughs> Whoa, daddy. What happened there? Tupang. Sorry about that, guys. That was that was fun, wasn't it? What are you talking about, Tupelo, Mississippi? Uh, this, yeah, That's this where is Elvis cool. is from. Yes. Elvis Presley. Yeah. I want to see if they're open down here. What's well, open? So. Gway? Gway? Yeah. Uh. Uh, now I sound like Beavis. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, butthead. Hey, butthead. You have TP for my bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, butt munch. Butt munch. Butt munch. I'm buying holly oil. You have a TP for my bungalow. Butt munch. I have to admit, I liked watching that when I was still a stoner. It was funny. Pretty damn funny. Look at this. I was never a stoner. I loved watching it. Yeah, well, you know, they, they remade it. They're remaking everything. You know, right? Yeah, I guess so. Because everything today sucks. They're remaking all the old oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. No imagination anymore. No. Because everybody's out of ideas. I blame it on the educational system. You know, I also remember what Brian Gallagher once said from Oasis. He says, you know, uh, he said, rock and roll is just like an old corpse. You know, occasionally somebody comes around and breathes life to it. It's true. You know, and this was, we're talking about late 90s. You know? I'm going to explain Aussie. Nobody understands what we're I never saw that show. I recently watched uh, Breaking Bad. Oh wow! I never watched that show. Well, it's only because uh, I got no cable. My parents let me share their uh, Netflix account. Here we go. look at all those cars. They're all white. Nice all colored gold on the Mustang. Oh, I was hoping you saw an old car, but yeah, that is sweet. I like that. Oh, you could have went. Oh, wow. I could have. Yeah, that's there. a pretty big intersection. Hey, what if you got bopped by that freaking uh, Hyundai? Yeah. Jeez, we're so close to the airport now. I almost should just go plane spotting. Much less, much longer on this uh, phone. Uh, it's the only thing annoying about it is just holding it a long time because you're just holding it. No, they're not. It's a flat. It's a flat rectangle. I have a one of my subscribers whose name is his name is Ed, of course, out of Savannah. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, generous guy. He sent me a few things, but he also sent me a like a. It's called a selfie stick. You know, it's like a grip, like on a gun or a yeah. pistol grip on a shifter and a, and a, and a road runner. But uh, it's, I don't know. It's still not. It's still awkward to fix. Any old cars here? There's a big rig there with some black bolts. Uh, no. no. And oddly enough, we're coming up to a street where there was this beautiful red Pontiac Grand Am, circa 1990. That this guy I met today on the overpass and Sources Boulevard overpass was on his scooter with his girlfriend, telling me about that same car that he wanted to buy it. And on top of that, that there was a guy who watched that video today of all car videos, of all the hundreds of them I made, and he commented about that, that he had one, and that, uh, that no, his dad had one, that he missed his dad today being Father's Day, and I wrote back to him, I said, I hear you, buddy, I miss my dad, too. Yeah. You want to go to Okak? <laughs> oh, that's Benny and Company. Oh, 
There's no cocktail spinning company. Yes. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's chicken is chicken. It's not like the chicken we had, that's for sure. That's some good chicken. Chicken in a bread pan picking out dough. But where do you want to go now? Do you want to go to... Uh, oh, my Back lordy. Oh, no, no. Where do you want to go? Jeez, your dad uh, was like me with the eyes. Eh? He wasn't... Uh, oh, he's, he's being a cheeky facade as much as his cousin. I think it was the flash that got him, no? Oh, I'm still filming. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't film. You want me to show it? No. <laughs> no. I, I, what I was trying to say is that, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could drop me off here, and I could take the the 69, or you could keep going, and might as well drop me off at Ari Barossa. Or something. Whatever. Yeah. I can. All right. Well, cool. Right on. Well, okay. now you get to check out some of these beautiful homes I was telling you about. And these bad drivers. Yeah. I like how we can see your headlights in your car. <laughs> I like the fact that you're not even looking at me. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's like, take your hoodie off for crying out loud. Oh my God. You're embarrassed, are we? <sighs> there used to be a really good pizzeria over here we passed called Angela yes, Pizza. Yes, And one time I passed there, like back in the 90s when I was taking the 68 home. Oh, speaking of which, non-scrap. And, and it was, uh, it, it was, uh, there was a 58 Cadillac parked there. And I wanted to film this separately, but too late. It's all right. It's awesome. Out of service. Remember they used to say horse, sir, horse service? Well, they used to say garage, but that was too boring for the STM, eh? So, yeah, they want to feel like a minority, this is the area. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I'm thirsty again. Crap. Yeah. Water? Yeah. Really? I just got to drive and dig around for it. Man, you're a yeah. true friend. You know that? Oh, wait, no, that one's open for you. You're you're, yeah, no, no, no. you're you're a true friend. You were willing to pay that fucking bill for me. Like, man, that's that's well, that's when you know you got a good go. friend. I was worried about. I don't. Oh my God. God. Thanks, buddy. No you're a great friend. Yeah, that was fun. I still remember when I gave you that U-Haul ad. Did you still have that? Oh yeah, I have it at uh, safekeeping at my sister's place. Can you open? It? No, no, hang on. God, uh, God that cost me. You would have that. Though. Well, it's it seems to be a pretty common ad because I did find another one. But I remember selling it, so... Uh, uh, there's Sacre Coeur Hospital. Now this is where the homes get real nice again. Check this. Watch how cool these movies are. The more further you go, the more they're amazing. But then when you pass uh, Saint Laurent, you're going like, you know, you're still in Hensick, but you're going into eventually Montreal North and RDP, and it's like, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. See, I did a walking video, I think, a few years ago, right here. But it was on a kind of a crappy day, you know. Yeah, it's funny about these vans. Like I told Ed the last time I rode in his van, like there's like zero leg room, but it's so smooth. It's just a nice, comfortable ride. It's just the way cars should have stayed, basically. Even though technically it's not a car. Right? How come you don't get a driving job? I was thinking about that, going back to uh, work for Avis. I mean, you obviously, you obviously, yeah, you obviously like, like driving. You don't have to work for Avis. You could do deliveries. You could. Oh no, not delivery. No. Uh, too much stress. You know, I got to get back quicker to get the uh, the next uh, yeah. the next delivery out. And, uh, what took you so long? Uh, <laughs> Montreal traffic. I used to have a friend. He drove around an old broad there in her Lincoln Town Car. An old broad. Yeah, rich old broad Lincoln Town Car. Yeah. Sugar mommy. Well, he put it, and all he did was put an ad out in the paper to get that. And it was part-time. So, but... Jogging. Where is this guy going in such a rush? He's going to see his woman. He's going to see his broadie. <laughs> it's funny, because I've been around here how many times? I've never drove down these trees near the water to see if they go down the water, though. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting old now. What do you think? Horses. Yeah, no. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to put this video separate from the sources one because if I put that with it, it's gonna be—I don't know how to how the fuck I would title that. To be honest with you, there's uh, this is uh, this is Lackady or the Salaberry. I can't remember which one. And soon we will be approaching the uh, level crossing. I was that with Grant last week. We were happy to get the QGRY train, which is Quebec Gatineau Railway, which is not common. <laughs> Oh, and uh, we had the timing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at these beautiful things here. These are historic homes. 
They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Yeah, you haven't been here a long time. I see why I told you this. I prefer this over uh, Lakeshore. It's really something. Then look at this really old uh, garage here. One pump. And they have an old Ford tow truck, 80 to 85 on the side there. You didn't see it. It's pretty unique. There's the crossing I was talking about. This is also shared with the commuters. There's a very fancy schmancy restaurant here. And we're also coming up to uh, Bordeaux Prison. And I love this little, little charming. This is just charmed the pants of you. Amazing. Much bigger than I know, but look how quaint this thing is. It's quaint. <laughs> yeah, it's not poor. But the funny thing is, when you go into the side streets, there are old apartment buildings, so it is poor as well. And people are frolicking with their dogs, and there's lots of geese. And the, you know the geese, they don't give a shit about anybody, they really. There's cobra chickens, Canadian cobra chickens. Cobra chickens? Yeah, that's. I've Canadian never heard geese. of them before. I'm just looking at the grass going, wow, how come this grass is still so faded considering how much rain we just got, no? So if we see anybody running in an orange jumpsuit, we just keep we just going keep going, right? yeah. Oh, just okay. step, just step on it, right? Exactly. Floor it. I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law. I needed money because I had none. I fought the law. <laughs> oh yeah, the Ramones covered that. I just yeah, remember I was about that. To say who sings that? Well, originally it was Bobby Fuller. Uh... Great. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've often told people for years I'd rather be homeless than in prison. I'll tell you right now. Oh, I've, no, I've seen uh, enough I'll movies, bite the man. Bullet before I go in. Jeez, I've seen enough movies. Holy uh, Jesus, what a nightmare! It's a nightmare. Matter of fact, I even met this old couple recently to deliver something I had that was very special, police related. It was vintage, and I delivered it to this this guy's parents' place uh, in Rosemo. And the guy is like, I used to be a prison guard. He says in Bordeaux. He was in the seventies. And he was saying that him and his wife recently they were floored watching somebody film an argument with a cop, a Montreal cop. He was filming it. I'm like, man, I'm like, look, I'll be honest with you, I film emergency responses, but I don't film, you know, like up close with cops when then, you know, that they're not doing their job properly or whatever, you know. It's, uh, it's, I find that's pretty uh, disrespectful. I mean, it's good that people have phones in case things happen, right? But I mean, to intentionally do that, I, eh, that's, I don't think that's cool. Look at this. Look how weird this is. Look at that entrance is. Why did they put the entrance there? Oh, there wasn't a house there before. In front of the bands. I got a friend here. here. He, uh, well, he's a customer. He's got a probably the oldest butcher shop maybe in the city. It's been there since pff, over 50 years. His father started. He's a big car collector too, but he doesn't keep any of his cars here. They're all in like, I think, uh, uh, St. Felix de Valois or something north here. You know, don't ask this guy what he thinks about vegans. You know? Check this guy. What's with the people with the hoodies all the time? Can you explain to me? Because I just don't fucking get it. I don't know. I'm not really a hoodie kind of person. Neither am I. Too. I mean, I, I have a sweater with a hoodie, and yeah. I would wear it when it's warm. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. What's that? That sound. You don't feel that? I feel it. Yeah, I hear it. It's like, dum 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 dum. Whatever. Is that the road? I thought it was a wheel bearing. Probably both. Amazon.